come bring your hurt and pain. There'll be no need to explain. But finally you'll be whole again. Cause God can give you hope. All who sorrow, all who grieve. There's power here if you believe. And waves of healing to receive. Yes, God can give you Only he knows the grand design And one day we'll know But when it's time So put your trust In that love divine And there you'll find your hope Bring your troubles Bring your tears The doubts that you have fought for years, you'll find a peace to calm your fears, and you will have your own. Only he knows the grand design, and one day we'll know that when it's time, so put your trust in that love divine. There you'll find your home. Only he knows the grand design and one day we'll know but when it's time so put your trust in that love divine and there you'll find your hope so put your trust in that love divine and there you'll find your hope Alleluia, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed, alleluia. Refreshed by resurrection life we share in Christ, let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. We thank you, risen Christ, for these waters where you make us new, leading us from death to life, from tears to joy. We bless you, risen Christ, that your spirit comes to us in the grace-filled waters of rebirth, like rains to our thirsting earth, like streams that revive our souls, like cups of cool water shared with strangers. Breathe your peace on your church, when we hide in fear. Clothe us with your mercy and forgiveness. Send us companions on our journey as we share your life. Make us one, risen Christ. Cleanse our hearts, shower us with life. To you be given all praise with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God now and forever. Amen. Christ has arisen, alleluia. Rejoice and praise him, alleluia. For our Redeemer burst from the tomb, even from death, dispelling its gloom. Let us sing praise to him with endless joy. Death's fearful sting he has come to destroy. Our sin forgiving, alleluia. 
Jesus is living, alleluia. For three long days the grave did its worst, until its strength by God was dispersed. He who gives life did death undergo, and in its conquest his might did show. Let us sing praise to him with endless joy. Death's fearful sting he has come to destroy. Our sin forgiving, alleluia. Jesus is living, alleluia. The angel said to them, do not fear. You look for Jesus who is not here. See for yourselves, the tomb is all bare. Only the grave clothes are lying there. Let us sing praise to him with endless joy. Death's fearful sting he has come to destroy. Our sin forgiving, alleluia. Jesus is living, alleluia. Go spread the news, he's not in the grave. He has arisen this world to save. Jesus redeeming labors are done. Even the battle with sin is won. Let us sing praise to him with endless joy. Death's fearful sting he has come to destroy. Our sin forgiving, alleluia. Jesus is living, alleluia. Christ has arisen to set us free. Alleluia, to him praises be. Jesus is living, let us all sing. He reigns triumphant, heavenly King. Let us sing praise to him with endless joy. Death's fearful sting he has come to destroy. Our sin forgiving, alleluia. Jesus is living, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Oremos, el Señor sea con ustedes. Dios Todopoderoso, con alegría celebramos el día de la resurrección de nuestro Señor. Por la gracia de Cristo entre nosotras y nosotros, permítenos mostrar el poder de la resurrección en todo lo que decimos y hacemos. A través de Jesucristo, nuestro Salvador y Señor, que vive y reina contigo y con el Espíritu Santo, un solo Dios, ahora y siempre. Amén. Hi, I don't know a lot of you, and I hope I get to see you soon when everything gets to open up again, when everything is safe. But my name is Pastor Kimberly Barnes, and I work for Bishop Bartholomew. Some of you know who that is, but you can ask your parents, who's Bishop Bartholomew? I am excited to talk with you today and about a word that I sometimes have a hard time with, even as a grown up, and I had a really hard time with this word when I was a kid. And maybe you know this word too. Share, share. You have to share. How many times do you hear your parents say to you, you have to share. You be nice and share your toys or anything with some, someone else. It's a hard thing for kids to learn how to do. And it was hard for me and my sister and other kids that we were around. But we had to learn because sometimes we thought maybe someone else was being selfish or maybe we weren't being very nice and we would not want to give all of some candy to some friends. We wouldn't give any candy to friends. We'd say, you can have some. S-O. 
M E, and we said it with kind of like a bar, that's not peace. That's not sharing. And our parents were trying to teach us that sharing was a great thing for us to learn to do because it made us better kids and hopefully better grown-ups. And some of the things they were teaching us by teaching us to share were being kind. Being kind means paying attention to how other people feel and thinking about how they feel and wanting them to be happy and wanting them to not feel sad. So we were sharing, so we were learning how to be kind. We were learning how to share so that we would learn how to be generous. Generous is like, I have school supplies. I have all the school supplies I need, but maybe there's a classmate, there's a kid who doesn't, and maybe they don't have enough to get it. So we asked our parents, when we go school shopping, when we go to the store, can we get some school supplies for my friend so that they can learn and grow and be happy too? That's generous. By sharing, our parents were teaching us to be loving. I love my sisters. I love all my sisters and my brothers. And if I share things with them, it's because I love them. And I want to see them smile. Maybe I have more candy in my Easter basket that I can eat. So I share with my sister because it makes her happy. And by doing all these things, guess what? We're being like Jesus. Jesus is kind and generous and loving. In the Bible, there's a story about how these people were so excited about Jesus. He is risen from the dead and they were running around saying, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. And they were so amazed and so excited that they wanted to be like Jesus and show other people how amazing Jesus was. So they thought, what's something we could do? We can feed people. And so they did. They made sure that they shared their food so no one around them was hungry. And they probably made sure people had the clothes they need to wear, that they had a place to live, that people didn't feel lonely because Jesus did those kind of things for people. Jesus is kind and generous and loving. Something you can do to show that. Think about that. What's something you can do? Maybe you can give toys away that you don't use anymore, but maybe some other kid can use some toys. Maybe there's clothes you don't wear anymore. They don't fit anymore, but they still look pretty nice. They don't stink. There's no holes or anything in them. And maybe those clothes will make another child happy, someone who needs something. You can maybe ask someone to bake cookies and you can take them to someone else and put a smile on their faces. Maybe you can ask, can I call grandma or grandpa or someone else and make sure they're not lonely. You can call them and sing, them, sing to them on the phone or tell them stories and let them know you were just thinking about them. These are ways that you, even as kids, can be kind and generous and loving. And no matter who you are and whatever you do, I hope you know that Jesus thinks you are amazing. So let's say a prayer now. I want to ask you to join me and fold your hands. And you can repeat after me. And let's bow our heads. Good morning, God. We think you are so incredible. You are kind and generous and loving. God, you gave us Jesus because you wanted to show that you are kind and you are generous and you are loving. God, teach us how to share with other people, to make sure that people are not hungry that they have clothing, that they have toys, that they have everything they need so that they can be happy and healthy. And remind us how much you love us every day. 
And let all God's children say, Amen. It's been great being with you, and I hope to see you soon. Bye. La primera lectura de Hechos, el cuarto capítulo. Todos los creyentes, que eran muchos, pensaban y sentían de la misma manera. Ninguno decía que sus cosas fueran solamente suyos, sino que eran de todos. Los apóstoles seguían dando un poderoso testimonio de la resurrección del Señor Jesús, y Dios los bendecía muchos a todos. No había entre ellos ningún necesitado, porque quienes tenían terrenos o casas los vendían, y el dinero lo ponían a disposición de los apóstoles para repartirlo entre todos según las necesidades de cada uno. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor. The Holy Gospel according to John, the 20th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. When it was evening on that day, first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand, put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing, you may have life in his name. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Hallelujah! Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Cristo ha resucitado. Cristo ha resucitado verdaderamente. Alleluia. As we continue in this Easter season, we hear the stories of the risen Christ appearing to his disciples and empowering them to bear witness in the world. We see the scarred hands of the Christ reaching out in blessing. We hear words of peace, breathing new life into disciples of the crucified one. We see emboldened followers become bold leaders. A medida que continuamos en esta temporada de Pascua, escuchamos las historias del Cristo resucitado, que se parece a sus discípulos y discípulas y les capacita para dar testimonio en el mundo. Vemos las manos con cicatrices del Cristo 
extendiéndose en bendición. Escuchamos palabras de paz que se infunden nueva vida a los discípulos del Crucificado. Vemos a las seguidoras y seguidores decididos a convertirse en líderes audaces. But witnessing in the world is not where our story begins. Our story begins with fear and hiding and doubt. Our story begins with timidity and uncertainty. Pero testificar en el mundo no es donde empieza nuestra historia. Nuestra historia comienza con miedo, escondiéndose y con dudas. Nuestra historia comienza con timidez y incertidumbre. We know that story, the one of fear and hiding and doubt. We know about timidity and uncertainty. We have lived that story, hiding behind locked doors for fear of a virus, an inhospitable world, a life without a job or food to feed our children. We have lived the story of doubt and uncertainty, wondering if we can still trust the promises of God that seemed so easy and true in better times. We have lived that story of despair, watching as violent language and hatred had given way to violent actions against neighbors. We have lived the story of the first disciples, afraid to step out into an unknown future. Conocemos esta historia, la del miedo, del esconderse y de la duda. Sabemos de timidez y incertidumbre. Hemos vivido esa historia. Escondidas y escondidos, tras puertas cerradas por medio a un virus. Un mundo inhospitalario. Una vida sin trabajo o sin comida para alimentar a nuestras hijas y hijos. Hemos vivido la historia de la duda y la incertidumbre. Preguntándonos si todavía podemos continuar y confiar en las promesas de Dios que parecían tan fáciles y verdaderas en tiempos mejores. Hemos vivido esa historia de desesperación, viendo cómo el lenguaje violento y el odio han dado paso a acciones violentas contra nuestras vecinas y vecinos. Hemos vivido la historia de aquellos primeros discípulos y discípulas temerosos de dar un paso, un paso hacia un futuro desconocido. The risen Christ comes to the disciples as they are hiding in a locked room. They are not feeling bold or empowered. They are not sent into the world to proclaim the good news of Jesus' resurrection. They are not delivering powerful sermons or wowing the crowds with their testimony. They are hiding and uncertain, afraid and faithless. They, like us, aren't sure if they can still trust the promises of their God. El Cristo resucitado llega a los discípulos mientras están escondidos en una habitación cerrada. No se sienten audaces ni empoderados. No son enviados al mundo para proclamar las buenas nuevas de la resurrección de Jesús. No están dando sermones poderosos ni cautivando a las multitudes con su testimonio. Están escondidos y inseguros, temerosos y con falta de fe. Ellos y ellas, como nosotras y nosotros, no están seguros de poder confiar en las promesas de su Dios. But none of that stops the risen Christ from seeing them as the disciples he called them to be. None of their own inadequacies causes Jesus to reconsider the task he has called them for. None of their timidity causes the spirit to flee from them 
or seek others to carry out the mission God has for them. Pero nada de eso impide que el Cristo resucitado los vea como las discípulas y los discípulos que les ha llamado a ser. Ninguna de sus deficiencias hace que Jesús reconsidere la tarea para la cual les ha llamado. Nada de su timidez hace que el Espíritu abandone los y busque a otros para llevar a cabo la misión que Dios tiene para ellos y ellas. Rather, the risen Christ comes to the disciples, bids them peace, and gives them the power of the Holy Spirit. The risen Christ blows through the locked doors and emboldens the disciples. It is the power of God through the Holy Spirit that transforms them from people of fear into people of faith. The power of the Holy Spirit breathes new life into them so that they go into the world, make profound professions of faith, and carry out the mission for which they were chosen. Más bien, Cristo resucitado viene a los discípulos, les da la paz y les da el poder del Espíritu Santo. El Cristo resucitado sopla a través de las puertas cerradas y anima a los discípulos. Es el poder de Dios a través del Espíritu Santo que los transforma de personas con miedo a personas de fe. La fuerza del Espíritu Santo les infunde nueva vida para que vayan al mundo, hagan profundas uh, profesiones de fe y lleven a cabo la misión para le, lo que fueron elegidos. It's rather remarkable that these are the same disciples that we read about in the book of Acts, giving powerful testimony to their faith in Jesus Christ. It's rather remarkable that these are the same disbelieving and doubting disciples who will spread Christianity throughout the known world. It's rather remarkable that these are the same disciples that we claim as our ancestors in the faith. Es bastante notable que estos sean los mismos discípulos de los cuales leemos en el libro de los hechos, dando un testimonio poderoso de su fe en Jesucristo. Es bastante notable que estos sean los mismos discípulos incrédulos y dudosos que difundirán el cristianismo por todo el mundo conocido. Es bastante notable que estos sean los mismos discípulos que afirmamos como nuestros antepasados en la fe. Perhaps the same could be said of you, modern day disciples. For to you, the risen Christ has unlocked the doors of fear and doubt, broken through the walls of shame, and breathed new life into you. You have been transformed by the power of the risen Christ to make bold new decisions, take risky steps to witness in the world. You have done impossible things in order to carry out the mission for which God has chosen you. Quizás se pueda decir lo mismo de ustedes, discípulas y discípulos de hoy en día. Porque para ti el Cristo resucitado ha abierto las puertas del miedo y la duda, ha roto los muros de la vergüenza y te ha infundido nueva vida. Usted ha sido transformado por el poder del Cristo resucitado para tomar nuevas decisiones audaces. Usted ha dado pasos arriesgados para testificar al mundo y ha hecho cosas imposibles para llevar a cabo la misión para la que Dios te ha elegido. 
you have been emboldened by the power of the Holy Spirit to be the church that Christ calls you to be. You have been through some really hard times over this past year. Loved ones have died prematurely. Violence against our Asian siblings has increased. Gathering for worship has been curtailed. Partisan politics has caused rifts in families and congregations. School has been disrupted. Racist acts against people of color have been on full display and despair has threatened to overtake you. But the risen Christ has not abandoned you. And as disciples of Jesus Christ, you are responding to the call to be in mission for the sake of the world. El poder del Espíritu Santo se ha envalentonado para ser la iglesia que Cristo te llama a ser. Usted ha pasado por momentos realmente difíciles durante el año pasado. Sus seres queridos han muerto prematuramente. La violencia contra nuestras hermanas y hermanos asiáticos ha aumentado. Las reuniones de adoración se han reducido. La política partidista ha causado divisiones en familias y congregaciones. La escuela se ha interrumpido. Actos racistas contra personas de color se han manifestado por todos los lados. Y la desesperación ha amenazado a apoderarse de usted. Pero Cristo resucitado no te ha abandonado. Y como discípulas y discípulas de Jesucristo, ustedes están respondiendo al llamado de estar en misión por el bien del mundo. You are bold witnesses to the power of the risen Christ. You have received the peace of Christ which allows you to walk together through hardships and heartache. You have received the peace of Christ, which allows you to walk together in celebration and joy, serving where Christ bids you to serve. As we go through life together, we know the power of Jesus Christ to transform us from fear to faith, from despair to hope, from death to life. Ustedes son valientes testigos del poder del Cristo resucitado. Han recibido la paz de Cristo que les permite caminar juntos a través de las dificultades y el dolor. Han recibido la paz de Cristo que les permite caminar juntos en celebración y gozo sirviendo donde Cristo les pide que sirvan. A medida que atravesamos la vida juntos, conocemos el poder del Jesucristo que nos transforma del miedo a la fe, de la desesperación a la esperanza, de la muerte a la vida. Today, we celebrate trusting in the same risen Christ those first disciples followed and receiving the same spirit of boldness. Thanks be to God. Amen. Hoy celebramos confiando en el mismo Cristo resucitado que siguieron los primeros discípulos y discípulas y recibiendo el mismo espíritu de audacia. Demos gracias a Dios. Amén. Garden to through dark and city street unlocks the door of grief, despair, and fear, and speaks a word of peace to all who hear. The risen Christ who stands with wounded side 
breathes out his spirit on them to abide. Whose faith still wavers, who dare not believe. New grace, new strength, new purpose they receive. The risen Christ, who breaks with wounded hands the bread for those who fail to understand reveals himself despite their lingering tears and flames their hearts then quickly disappears may we christ's body walk and serve and stand with those oppressed in this and every land till all are blessed and can a blessing be restored in christ to true humanity alive in the risen christ by the power of the holy spirit we bring our prayers before god who promises to hear us and answer in steadfast love. We shower your church with grace, O God. Unite the whole church on earth, so that with one heart it testifies to the resurrection of Jesus Christ with power and love. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. We proclaim the blessing of life forevermore like dew upon the mountains, refresh your creation, restore waters, cleanse the air, and provide revitalizing moisture to parched land. Give your whole creation the promise of new life. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. You direct the nations, O oh God, guide all in authority that they shepherd their peoples in the ways of your love. Defeat in us our impulse to war. Bestow the peace of Christ upon those in authority and breathe upon them the Holy Spirit. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. You place within the heart of the church a spirit of sharing. Give us the power of your generous spirit that we provide for the needs of others. Announce your peace to those who are lonely, hurting, suffering, or afraid. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. You give us fellowship with one another across our synod. Shine the light of the risen Christ in our life together so that we live in love for one another and our joy may be complete. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. You share the gift of eternal life. In thanksgiving and remembrance, we recall the lives and gifts of those who now live in endless joy. Unite us with them in resurrection hope. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. In the hope of new life in Christ, we raise our prayers to you, trusting in your never ending goodness and mercy through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Let us pray. O oh God of justice and love, we give thanks to you that you illumine our way through life with the words of your Son. Give us the light we need. Awaken us to the needs of others, and at the end, bring all the world to your feast. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory forever. Amen gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 
the Holy Three, the Holy One, increase your hope, strengthen your faith, deepen your love, and grant you peace. Amen. Alleluia. Cristo ha resucitado. Cristo ha resucitado en verdad. Alleluia. Ve en paz. Comparta las buenas nuevas. Alleluia. Gracias a Dios. Alleluia. Conquering sun, and this is the victory thou or death has won. Angels in bright raiment rolled the stone away, kept the folded grave clothes where thy body. Thine is the glory, risen, conquering sun. Endless is the victory thou or death hast won. Lo, Jesus meets thee, risen from the tomb. Lovingly he greets thee scatters fear and gloom. Let his church with gladness hymns of triumph sing. For the Lord now liveth, death hath lost its sting. Thine is the glory risen conquering sun endless is the victory thou or death hast won no more we doubt thee glorious prince of life life is not without thee aid us in our strife Make us more than conquerors through thy deathless love. Bring us safe through Jordan to thy home above. Thine is the glory, risen conquering sun. Endless is the vision.
spread the news Live your life too short Spread the news And all the world will know The surest way God's love can grow Is make some friends and let them Take the love God gave to us and go, 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 spread the news. Go and spread the news. Go spread the news. Go and spread the news.